Pedro's Montes. Thank you, Dwayne, for your introduction, and thank you for being the master of the ceremony today. And I'm telling you, thank you so much for being a catalyst for why we are here today. You and your wife, Lori, are incredible. I'm honored to know you, and I'm so glad to call you my friend. And again, as a community, we are so thankful to you. Thank you. Thank you as well to Congressman Barrow, President Keel, and President Carty, uh, the mayor and the county commissioner for speaking today honored to have you all here, and thank you all for coming today and braving the heat. I'm telling you, I wish I could do a little, I did a rain dance to stop the rain, but, you know, the heat's one thing, I think it stops. I'm sorry about that. But, um, but I'm so honored that you came here today to share in this momentous occasion. Now, as I look out, I see members from the community, members of Georgia Southern University, Okichi Technical College, and uh, our local, state, and national representatives. And this site reflects what I had always hoped the Hearts and Hands Clinic would bring, and that is unity. And unity as we take care of our community medically uninsured. For our clinic is a mission, a mission with humanistic principles. Furthermore, I truly believe the clinic is the example of the American dream. And it's a dream that some consider as fluttering in these time of day because of our economic times, but I beg to differ because of days like today. Americans have come together to help our fellow Americans in need. And that is just incredible. For this is what a democracy is, I believe. And in paraphrasing uh, President Lincoln, a democracy of the people, by the people, and for the people. Because this, I believe, is the cornerstone of the American dream. One such person who is here today, who is such an example of the American dream, and is my role model, and is my inspiration, is my father, Dr. Ismael Monte. I really hope I live my life like he did, for he is my role model, like I said. My father was born into extreme poverty in Monterrey, Mexico. When he entered pre-med, he entered with no shoes, and he entered with rank. He graduated medical school many years later, and he looked across the Rio Grande, and there was the United States of America, a beacon of light, a light, a beacon of hope. And he came here. And he came and he trained under the first generation heart surgeons and he then joined their ranks becoming a cardiothoracic surgeon. And now he gives to our men and women in uniform by working at Wynn Army Community Hospital in the emergency department. My father is my role model. My mother too, I am so incredibly grateful to you both. You know, they've never stopped parenting and they never stopped caring. For that I am extremely grateful. I love you. My friends, there are so many people to thank that have made today a reality. And if I don't thank everybody, please, I'm so sorry. It's not what I, my intention. But first, I would like to thank my fellow students who have been my colleagues and my trusted friends for this whole process. For the students who are here, if you could please stand so we could uh, see who you are and give you a round of applause, a round of applause that you deserve. Long's call a year ago, we would not be standing here today. He truly lives as he preaches, and he is a fighter for those who have fallen on hard times. He is a role model, he is an inspiration to me, and for all of us who work with him, he deserves a round of applause. Third, I'd like to thank Mr. Dennis Nelson and his wife for standing over there. Mr. Nelson donated all the construction to build the clinic. And he would even be out here himself assisting his crews. Mr. Nelson and his wife, many are, are angels walking in human form. For he gives without asking anything in return, and he gives without being known. And that is a true form of giving. Mr. Nelson, you're an inspiration yourself. I'm incredibly in debt to you. And the people who are be seeing at this clinic are incredibly in debt to you, for you've been able to give them life and give them help. Everybody, he deserves an incredible round of applause. Fourth, I would like to thank the Board of Directors for the clinic to have such a wide representation of Statesboro and GSU and Ogeechee Tech is incredible. And also to have a wide representation of our faith community. And talking about faith and community, there is one person here today who's made this happen as well. And that is Dr. Ed Johnson, Pastor Ed Johnson. Two years ago, 
two students walk into his office, and he believed in a dream, and he saw this dream, and he took a chance on us. And if it was for him, we would not be here today. So Pastor Ed Johnson deserves another round of applause. Well, we just wanted to give back to the community because, you know, as students, we live here for four, five, even six years <laughs> for some of us. And uh, this community gives so much to us, but we need to give back. And, I mean, we are the future leaders of tomorrow, so what better way to give back to the community than providing health care to those in need? Right, uh, do you know roughly how many people this clinic will treat? Oh, all I can say is that we see about every clinic about 18 patients. And that is for every dental, medical, and vision clinic. And we already have a three to four month wait for dental. Actually, I'm sorry, three to four month wait for medical, and about four to five months for uh, medical.